In addition to adding controls to make your apps come to life, you'll also need to add images. In this video, you will explore how to add images to your applications and discover the difference between system images and regular images. Imagine Little Lemon would like to add their logo to their app. Let's add a regular image to the app. There's no preview in Xcode because I've not yet added the Little Lemon logo to the project. To do that, you must use the Assets Catalog, a special kind of folder that can store images, colors, symbols, and data for easy access. The syntax is very simple. For this command to work, you must add the image, in this case, Little Lemon logo, to the Assets Catalog. To do this, you need to select Assets Catalog on the Project Navigator and drag the images from Finder. Note the Little Lemon logo entry in the middle column. When I select it, the three image sizes required for each Retina screen specification are displayed. This image is set as universal, meaning it will work on any Apple device. However, you can create a different image for each specific device and specify them in the Attributes Inspector if you'd like. Now, back to Content View. Preview now displays the image. By default, images are shown in their original size. If the image must be scaled, you need to apply an attribute called Resizable. By adding this attribute, the image scales up until it fills all the available space. To prevent it from distorting, you can employ another useful modifier called Scaled to Fit. This modifier tells SwiftUI to use Aspect Ratio 1 and Content Mode Fit. This means that the logo will fit all the view's available space, keeping the value of 1 as the aspect ratio. If you want to tile the view, you can change the resizable element. If I remove the Scale to Fit line, the tile now covers the whole view. You can use the frame modifier with the alignment property to specify how you want the image to be displayed. In this case, it will create a 400 by 400 frame and align the image with the leading alignment. You can change this to trailing or center. Now that you've had the opportunity to explore regular images and adding them to an app, let's take a moment to work through system images. System images are another kind of image which are very useful when creating projects. These images are created by Apple. They come with Xcode by default and can be freely used. The syntax for system images is displayed on screen. System images work together with an application provided by Apple for free called San Francisco Symbols, or SF Symbols for short. To use them, you can run the app, right-click an icon, and select Copy Name. This is the name you'll use for the system images. Now, back to the code. There are a lot of modifiers you can use with system images. For example, to make the image larger, you can use the Image Scale modifier. You can define the font size, use the foreground color modifier to change its color and the background modifier to change its background color. You can also add padding, which refers to the space between one UI element and another. The possibilities are really endless. You can even add modifiers like corner radius, which describes how rounded the corners of the view are. Plus, you can combine SF symbols with regular text using something like the code displayed on screen. Here, I've used the system image inside a text element and added that to the string, Little Lemon Restaurant. If you want to add modifiers to these elements, you can group them and add modifiers to the group as follows. In this video, you learned how to add images to apps. You also learned about system images, a special kind of image that works together with an app provided by Apple called SF Symbols, which comes with thousands of vector images you can use inside any app including commercial ones, and modify to suit your needs.